Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an expense reimbursement tracker in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the dashboard page of expense reimbursement tracker. And here we are showing some analysis like we have given the different charts count by the approval status. In the mid, we have the total reimbursement count. Then here we have the reimbursement amount by the payment method. And here we have the expense amount by the shipped attached. And then this is the expense amount by the department, expense amount by the expense types, and this is the expense amount by the month. We have given different slicers also to filter the data like receipt attached, yes or no, you can filter that. Or you can see the data for any specific department also. As well as you can see by the approval status like how many denied from which department month on month and how many pendings and how many approved. Okay. And you can see by month also, let's say I want to see the data for June month, May or Jan and automatically it will show the data. Here we have the expense type also like food, supply, travel or you can add more expenses also. Now let me go to the data sheet. So I will show you the data. Here we have this tracker information. First column is the ID which is the auto generated column. Then here we have the employee name, department, expense date, expense type, amount, payment method, purpose, receipt attached, approval status. Then we have our remarks also. To add the new record, you can use these top button, add new record, update record and delete record. So let's add a new record. Click on this. Now this expense reimbursement tracker form will be opened and here you can enter the new record. So let's say I'm putting here employee name PK department i'm taking sales if you want to change the date you can change it from here let's say i'm taking 15 and the expense type you can select the various expense type let's say i'm taking food or i'm taking healthcare and the amount i'm putting here 200 payment method let's say i'm saying credit card and the purpose i'm saying medicine and receipt attached yes approval status i'm keeping it pending for now and just copy this and in the remarks you can say medicine purchased or whatever remarks you want to put there and just submit now that new record is appearing here and you can delete or change this manually it will show this sheet is protected and here we can see everything is updated Okay, as well as if you go to the dashboard, then here we can see the count is 32 and we can see a new entry and the amount is also updated. Okay, everything is updated now. If you click on the Jan month, then we have five and we can see the sales record also and everything is here. Okay, now here we can see this information and if you want to update this, then you can just click on the ID of this click on update record and let's say now I'm saying this is approved and just submit close this so this is approved now okay you can see it is changed and accordingly dashboard will be changed now I will show you the list sheet also from here you can manage the drop down list and uh, here you can add the new expense type, payment method, department okay and accordingly that list will appear on the form so here we are creating the drop down that will appear here accordingly. I will quickly show you the form also how we have created. This is the form here you can see we have designed in the VBA and uh, we haven't put any password here. You can just see that and if you double click then you can see the whole information. So on the user form initialize we are creating the different drop down list. Okay, so these all the drop down list are coming from the list sheet you can see. Okay, and now on the submit button, we just have put some validation like you have to enter the employee name amount and you have to select the department everything. And then we are just taking the uh, data sheet and in the data sheet first we are unprotecting this and the password is four time zero. Now, if that txt ID which is this text box, if this is filled, then if this is blank, then it will add a new record and if it is not blank then it will update the record 
and then it will fill the information on the different column of the data sheet in the last it will apply the same formatting available on the row number 5 on this row number okay same formatting will be applied to the last row also and it will clear the data and will refresh the whole workbook and will put up it again to clear the data we have put this reset button and here we are just making everything blank all right so this is the code we are using and uh, if you want to and to create this dashboard we have taken this support sheet and here we have added multiple pivot table on the basis of these pivot table we are creating this dashboard if you want to learn how we can create the dashboard sheet using the support sheet with the multiple pivots you can join our course link is given in the description box so we have explained everything about the pivot table and the data analysis and how to create the dashboard using the pivot table all right so that's it in this video friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button thank you so much for the watching